This is the Loveshaw CAC16A1. It's the light duty cartridge. Um, the advantages of this cartridge has a removable tape core arm so that you can adjust it from this position to this position. Um, the, the CAC50 comes with a solid built in arm which um, works for most applications but in certain machines you have to have the one that moves. So that would be the one for this one. Um, in this tape core you have basically tape core adjustment and you have a uh, the finger tape finger assembly here. Uh, you do not have a one-way roller on this unit. You only have our clutch roller on this unit. You only have your feed rollers which are inside of here. You don't have all the other adjustments that the CAC50 has. On this unit basically to tension your tape on this one it's going to be by the tape core. Um, Basically on this unit, you, you uh, set this just so that the unit works, which will be about here. The tape will stop in line with the roller. If you adjust it too loose, you will have it overrunning. If you adjust this too tight, you can pull it out, which is not good. So we want to make sure it's not that tight. So we go back to where we think is good on this adjustment. So we're not just tight enough so that, that ends up with that tape in line here. On this tape cartridge you have your spring adjustment which is here and it has the holes in this rail here. Uh, it comes from the factory set on the third hole from the back. Um, that is pretty much the median uh, setting. If you have a light box you're going to want to move that spring back this way. If you have a heavier box you want to move it this way. Um, and a lot of that's going to depend on how the unit's wiping the tape down too. If you get it too tight, sometimes it has a hard time forcing the tape head open in order to make it work. So then you have to back the spring pressure off again, which means move it this way. You have your tape finger assembly, which is this movable flap and this movable uh, dual finger. Um, the reason for that setup is to curve the tape, to give it a strength. If you take this off of here, the tape will be flat and it'll want to just flip over. With this curve in here, it creates that bow in the tape which gives it the strength to stand up. The thing to look for is make sure both tips are touching this plate, that this moves freely, and that this moves freely. So that those all three line up. That's basically the only um, critical thing on the CAC-16 that would stop this thing from, from working really well if this is not touching the tape and creating it to both. Especially on a lower head on a machine, this will have a tendency of the tape to flip over. The only other adjustment left is this one, which is your left and right, which is the center bolt that goes through the mandrel. There is a thread, thread rod on the inside. The tape core itself is threaded. So then to adjust that, you need to loosen this center cap screw, loosen it up, and then you can just actually turn the tape core back and forth. It'll go clockwise, will turn it tight, counterclockwise will turn it out. And then once you get it set to where this is centered on the rollers, which are down in here, you get this centered down in here so that it fits in the rollers good then you will set this screw tight. You got to make sure this is tight because every time this turns it's going to want to back out or go forward whichever way you're turning it. So you have to set this screw good and tight.